My name is Brian Stevenson, and this is the Cyber Chronicles for the week of the 22nd of December, holiday edition. Here we have five articles we're going to talk about. We're going to do this fast because, quite frankly, I have a very tight schedule this week. We're going to talk about SQL Lite for some developers that have a vulnerability that leaves hackers the ability to take over systems. U.S. ballistic missile systems, poorly poorly <laughs> designed cybersecurity, according to ZDNet. And NASA has a little bit of a breach, and of course, there's all kinds of plays on words on there. Mayday, Mayday, Houston, we have a problem. And an exclusive from Reuters, very interesting article. China hacked HPAE, IBM, and then attacked clients. And then we're going to talk about, of course, our favorite Facebook. A new bug exposed 6.8 million users to their photo apps. So let's get started. Okay, the fifth most popular article of the week comes to us from the Hacker News. Uh, we talk about these guys all the time. Critical SQL Lite flaw leaves millions of apps vulnerable to the hackers. So this is more for the developers out there that are using SQL Lite, um, which is a database. It's dubbed as Magellan by Tencent's Blade security team. New discovered SQL Lite flaw that could allow remote workers to arbitrarily or maliciously add code to a system and crash a system. So if you're a developer and you're using SQLite, like in GitHub or one of those things, beware, there's probably patches coming out as this article has come out already. But that was our fifth most shared article of the week. Let's move on to number four. Okay, our fourth most shared article of the week comes from ZDNet, great uh, periodical there. U.S. ballistic missile systems have very poor cybersecurity. Not a big shock here. We've talked about these things almost every week for the last year. Um, no data encryption, no antivirus. <laughs> Although, what does that antivirus do anymore? No multi-factor authentication and a 28-year-old unpatched vulnerability. Just some of the findings in a security audit by the U.S. Ballistic Systems on Friday by the U.S. Department of Inspector General. So, article on ZDNet, pick it up, read it. If you're interested in U.S. Ballistic Missile Systems have poor cybersecurity from the U.S. government. We'll move on to our third most popular article of the week. Okay, our third most popular article of the week uh, comes to us. Uh, there's a variety of places we picked this up from. We picked the Hacker News uh, just because we like supporting those guys. But uh, Mayday, 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 NASA warns employees of private information may have been breached. Another day, another data breach. Uh, this time it is the United States National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or referred to as NASA. A NASA confirmed today a data breach may have compromised personal information to some of its current and former employees after at least one of the servers was hacked. So that was our third most popular article of the week. Pick it up, Hacker News. We'll have the link down below. We're going to move on to number two. Okay, our second most popular article shared across the internet last week on cybersecurity comes to us from Reuters. Reuters actually is picking it up quite a bit on cybersecurity investigations. Tip of the hat to these guys. I don't have a hat on that. I don't know what the hell I just did. Um, but Reuters, tip of the hat. Washington or China hacked HPE, IBM, and then attacked clients, according to sources. This uh, hackers working on behalf of China's Ministry of State Security breached the network of Hewlett Packard Enterprises, then IBM, and then use access to, into their clients' computers, according to five sources familiar with the attack. This is according to Reuters. Well, the article listed below. Read it. Uh, consider what they're saying. And uh, interesting article. We're going to move on to our number one article of the week. Okay, before we move on to the number one article of the week, we do our, our weekly shout-outs. FireEye, thank you so much for your support. Komodo, um, we have Proofpoint, we'd like to thank those guys as well. And we'd like to thank all of our subscribers that come to us every week and listen to our cyber news. And of course, Focus Point Technologies, one of the leading cybersecurity VARs in the Midwest located in the Twin Cities of Minnesota. So let's move on to our number one article of the week. Okay, our number must number one. There we go. Enunciate. Number one most popular article shared across the internet last week was about Facebook. A uh, variety of sources that came out on this, and again, we picked the Hacker News to talk to you about this. New Facebook bug exposed 6.8 million users, potentially up to 6.8 million users, I should say there, to third-party apps. Basically, what it was is a programming bug in Facebook's website that when you gave permission to an application to look at your photos, apparently it also shared photos in their timelines, including images that were uploaded um, that were never thought to be used for access to other devices. So the bug potentially gave developers the access to other photos other than those showed on Marketplace and Facebook Stories. So it's a potential that if these uh, photos were shared. It doesn't say that they actually were. 
and it would be a uh, 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 vulnerability in the development code, which they have now fixed. So that was the number one most popular article of the week. Again, we'd like to thank everybody for listening to our podcast. Every week we do this, we share the most popular articles of the, of the week. We'd like to thank everybody. If you are, have not done so far, so far, please hit the button down below and subscribe. As always, take care and stay safe and have a happy holidays.